Hello, this is Maker J101, and today I'm just gonna go over this um, fog or this um, humidifier, ultrasonic humidifier. It seems pretty nice. Uh, most all the the tank and everything is wasn't with it, so it was just in a junk bin. So, um, but it works great. Um, yeah, that's where you put the water in there, or actually the tank would probably go in here. The, there's supposed to be a float here. I took it off this so it would turn on. Um, and then this is just the mist intensity and the humidity. And then I have the fan blocked up because it just blows the uh, mist away. So you just power it up and it works. I think it's pretty cool how it makes the mist like that. But see that's on lowest. And it's not really doing, making very much. But it seems pretty efficient. And then the humidity switch just turns it off. <clears throat> so I'm going to take it apart and um, see how it works inside. Um, yeah, and then we we'll, I'm going to also try and figure out what frequency it is so that hopefully I can try to make my own or something like that. Okay, so it's much simpler than I thought it would be inside. We've just got the mains transform over here. We've got the fan, which is 120 volt fan, um, AC. Um, we've got power switch, thermostat, or I mean humidistat, uh, a big potentiometer there, um, and then the circuit, the main circuit board, and the um, I forget what it's called. Whatever the um, thing that vibrates, I forget what it's called now. Um, and then we've got the float switch there. So that's basically about it. This transformer seems to be 48 volts AC because these wires for the input is 48 volts AC. So yeah, we'll take this cover off here. And there you can see there's transistor, um, capacitor, uh, this looks like a diode. Yeah, that's a diode. Few inductors, some resistors, capacitors, that's about it. And there's the little um, transducer. What's it called? I forget. Alright, so I'll think I'll take this off real carefully next. But there's just the air passage. Um, yeah, there's a rectifier diode there. Oh, and there's just a little a relay too. For, and some neon light bulbs. But yeah, it's pretty simple. One transistor circuit. Well, yeah, I'll take it out and look at it more closely. Okay, so I've got it stripped down to the um, uh, nebulizer. That's what it's called. Um, and the circuit board. I took the circuit board out and checked on the back for surface mount components, and there's none. So it only has one transistor. So, and it's an... C2579 transistor. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's a transistor because there is... Let me check. Yeah, right under the leads you can see um, B, C, and E. So it's a transistor. Um, yeah, this is the nebulizer. Uh, I'm guessing... I don't want to take this part because I don't want to break it or anything. Um, it's actually at an angle like that on purpose. Um... I mean, the rubber thing has a cut into it around there, and it's at an angle like that, so it's supposed to be like that. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing that this is just one of these. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure, but just a piezo um, crystal or whatever it's called, transducer. Um, so I'm guessing that's all it is. Um, so what I want to do is hook this up to the oscilloscope and try to figure out what frequency it's operating at so that I can try to do do make my own with one of these I don't know if that's gonna work I don't know if it would ruin it if I hooked one of these up instead of this because I do not want to ruin this circuit so yeah I'll try something like that yeah. okay so <clears throat> I've got my, got it all 
well, somewhat back together, and I've got my oscilloscope hooked up. Um, so, yeah. Turn it on, I'll show you what the waveform looks like. Alright, that's the waveform, and it's at the fastest speed right now, or the fastest time. And the only way to see how, what it looks like is zoom in a bunch, expand it. So that's what the waveform looks like. Let me put more water on it so it doesn't heat up. So yeah, I have no idea what kind of waveform that is. It's, I mean, it's a sine wave, but it's kind of um, uh, just kind of keeps pulsing on and off. Let me shut it off so it doesn't. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I don't know. I did try hooking up just um, to a piezo like this, and it didn't do anything. Um, it just, I still had this one hooked up, and I put a drop of water on here and on there, and this one made neither of them work. So, and it actually, the water started boiling on this one. I guess because it's not the same type. Um, but this draws about, at the 48 volts, it draws um, about um, 0.8 volt, 0.8 amps, I think. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.